Ito na nga ba ang pinakamahirap na championship ng San Beda? Alam natin ang sagot sa kanilang head coach na si Coach Boyd Fernandez. Coach Boyd, welcome to the score. Ed, congrats. Thank you very Kamu much. Kamusta pakiramdam? Sir, Nakatulog na ba? Um, konti. Konti. Uh, 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 Nagsikin na ba para sa iyo? Uh, medyo. Okay. <laughs> well, let's, 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 let's go through the journey. It's, ako, naaliw ko to talk to the coaches on kung paano niya nahuhubog ang isang champion team. And this is your third, tama? Yes, sir. After your back-to-back in 2013-2014. Um, let's talk about this one. First of all, uh, throughout the season, alam natin undefeated yung LPU. Pero uh, yung dalawang talo niyo sa kanila, hindi naman ganun ka-convincing. In your mind, at anong sinasabi mo sa mga players mo after the elimination round, nung nag-sweep sila, nag straight to the final sila, what is your message to them in terms of gano'ng ka-confident kayo na pag tino- naabutan nyo sila sa finals, ay eh, kayang-kaya nyo pa rin sila? Well, yung after nung natalo kami sa double overtime, mm-hmm. uh, napunta kami dugout, malungkot yung lahat ng players, I just uh, told them na pakinggan nyo yung sigaw nung LPU. Mm-hmm. Kasi yan din ang sisigaw natin pagkatapos natin magkita sa finals. Mm-hmm. Pero tandaan nyo rin na muntik na talo talaga tayo nung first round kasi medyo kompante sila noon. Mm-hmm. Inako naman nila eh. Mm-hmm. Pero nung second round, nakita namin na kaya pala namin silang talunin. Kaya lang, we didn't finish it really well at the end game. Uh, we missed our free throws. Uh, we had some turnovers na dapat amin na yon So, nire-replay replay ko lang talaga sa kanila yon Then, After nung game namin sa LPU, we had a team building. Okay. And the first thing na nag-uusap ko sa players sa coaches, the first thing when I get out of that coaches huddle, eh mga players ko nakatayo na dun sa gitna at sinasabi, coach, simple lang naman eh. Mm-hmm. Pagkatiwalaan mo lang kami okay. at uh, dadali natin tong San Beda sa championship. Okay. So at that time, uh, after that, nag-prepare kami ng press namin. Mm-hmm. Kasi yun talaga ang kwan eh, problema namin. Mm-hmm. Uh, yung press ng LPU, mm-hmm. we've been averaging about 23 turnovers and 23, 27 turnover points. Mataas yun. Allowed. Sobra-sobra oh, yes. yun. Oh. So sabi namin, if we can break the press or probably limit our turnovers, mm-hmm. we have a really a good chance of beating LPU. Mm-hmm. So hindi pa kami nagpipapala dun sa knockout namin kung sinong kalaban namin dun sa playoff. LPU down. na mindset ninyo? Ang mindset talaga namin is wow, LPU. Okay. So we practice 19 days yun. Uh-huh. Oh, nga, two, yeah, nga, no? two weeks yon more of LPU, yeah. uh, press break, mm-hmm. how we will uh, try to stop CJ Perez, mm-hmm. the Marcelino Twins. Then after nag in na na, oy, tapos na pala yung playoff. Oh, step ladder. San Beda na, uh, let, San Sebastian na. Baste, oh. Then that's a start, we started to prepare for San Sebastian. For Baste, oh. Pero pinakamaganda rin sa amin, dahil San Sebastian, when they played against Letran, yep. progresso sila. Mm-hmm. They, uh, JRU pala, I'm sorry. Right. Oh. They played JRU. Correct. They forced JRU for so many turnovers. Correct, correct. And they beat their, uh, JRU convincingly. Mm-hmm. So sabi ko, okay, much same, better. Na preparado pala tayo. Same kasi game plan. Same much. game plan. Oh. So, yung kulang game plan namin sa Baste, oh. sa San Sebastian, nung nakuha namin yung game namin, sabi ko, why adjust? Kasi, oh. kuwan eh, uh, three correct. days na lang eh. Correct. So sabi ko, Continue na lang natin yung mm-hmm. game plan natin. We know that how CJ beats us on mm-hmm. on his penetration, lahat ng kay Kaduyak. Mm-hmm. So, ganun na lang. Doon lang adjustments natin. Mm-hmm. Pero yung press break, yung pick and roll D namin, pare-pareho lang yung game plan. You But did. again, sabi ko, why change if Correct. it's working? Oh. Mm-hmm. Nung, nung pumasok kayo sa game one, um, did you have a sense na nakadali din sa kanila yung mahabang pahinga? We've seen it before in other teams. Like the most famous of course, yung sweep ng UE, no. nanalo sa pala sa sa Lasad, 'di ba? Yung kanila pa nga, pareho lang, two, parang three weeks din, no? Three weeks. Yung naman dahil sa pag- you may knock out at may bagyo, yes. <laughs> dami pang ano. Pero similar length of uh, pahinga na ensayo lang, like practice games sila against Alab. Um, do you think that mattered to them somehow or after the good first half, medyo na shake off nila yung kalaban? Well, knowing about uh, knowing coach topics, mm-hmm. how he prepares I think hindi naman na-apekto sa kanila yung pahinga, mm-hmm. mahabang pahinga kasi they really practice hard just mm-hmm. like we practice no 19 days kami ng pahinga. Tapos they practice to a game with Alav, muntik mm-hmm. na nila matalo yon. Mm-hmm. They beat, they were only beaten by 5 points. Mm-hmm. Kami nga nag-practice game kami sa Alav, we're, we're beating by 12. Mm-hmm. So everybody's been saying that uh, really LPU is a very good team. Mm-hmm. And well, hindi naman namin dinideny talaga magaling ng LPU. Mm-hmm. Pero sa tingin ko, they were really prepared for us. Mm-hmm. And uh, ang maganda lang doon, uh, hindi bumitaw yung players ko. And mm-hmm. uh, 
sabi ko nga, if we just stay close to LPU mm -hmm. until the end, I think our defense will really work and uh, probably we can steal one game against LPU. Isang game lang naman kailangan na, namin eh. When you got game one, gaano ka ka, ka, ka kumpiyansa para sa game two? And, and, and your, what's your message to them na guys must win ito? Parang wag natin isipin na back of our minds sa okay lang kahit mag game three. Anong, anong naging mensahe mo sa kanila? Well, ang mensahe ko talaga sa kanila is uh, we know that LPU is a very good team. Mm -hmm. Uh, we just only beat them once, mm -hmm. and if you want to win a championship, you have to, uh, to have to right. beat them another time. Mm -hmm. So, sabi ko, wag tayong magkumpiyansa na twice to beat sa'yo. Kalimutan na natin yung twice to beat. Mm -hmm. Basta sabihin natin, knockout pa rin natin mm -hmm. to. Kasi, mm -hmm. if you give LPU another chance, yep. give uh, Coach Topics another chance, then mm -hmm. it will be a problem for us next game. Mm -hmm. So, sabi ko sa kanila, basta same game plan, no change of... Uh, Scouting reports, uh, we know what to do. Basta stick lang tayo na we know that they're the number one team in offense. Mm -hmm. We know that we are the best defensive team in the league. Mm -hmm. So sabi ko, look at this one. Offense wins games. Mm -hmm. But doon pa rin ako doon sa defense wins a championship. Pa so doon to pa rin sa amin. Let's go back to game two, coach. Napanood niyo na rin yung replay kanina, no? 73 all, five minutes yes. to go. Before that, talagang ganunan, yeah. nagkakaruns, diba? Iba, ano, uh, was there something, was there something na nagbago? May nasabi ba kayo during one of the timeouts in that final five minutes na nag-switch on yung, masasabi natin, championship poise ng inyong mga veterano? Well, ang una kong ginawa, uh, maganda depensa ng LPO kay Robert. Eh. Mm -hmm. So, I never done this. Once in a while, I done this uh, rotation. Mm -hmm. I put AC Soberano and uh, Devon Fats together. Mm -hmm. And then I put uh, JB Mokon in the four, mm -hmm. and then Tangkuwa on the five, and yeah. then Robert take good care of that pick and roll. Mm -hmm. So alam ko dino double nila si Robert. Eh. Right. So if we gonna reverse the ball, if Tangkuwa or Donald rolls, mm -hmm. and they will help. We're looking for the corners, which is Devon and uh, AC. Mm -hmm. So there one time that we're the tight ball game where we're up by one and uh, fortunately uh, I think Robert uh, nearly a turnover yon but mm -hmm. he got it and then he penetrated the every AC. yeah every collapse and AC was close to the so na, he got a, a three point shot wow. in the corner okay. then after that alam ko magaling talaga na team na offensive team yung, yung LPU mm -hmm. ginawa ko nang change ako ng ng rotation. Mm -hmm. After naka-shoot, nakahintay na yun si Kwan, si Franz Abuda. Uh -huh. Sabi ko, offense-defense ako. So, pinapasok ko si Franz. Yep. Every time na mag-defense kami, mm -hmm. then AC plays the offense para mas spread out ko yung floor. Correct. Again, uh, Robert really knows where, where his teammates are. Mm -hmm. And, uh, kung hindi naman mag-collapse, then Robert yep. will try to penetrate. Yung tres ni Robert, eh, we just saw it right there. Naalala ko ito ng tama, medyo maaga pa sa shot clock yun, coach. Parang meron pang 10 or 8 seconds. Uh, and you were ahead. So, syempre, as much as you'd want, milk some of the clock. Pero, ano, yung, no, ano pumasok sa isip mo nung patalo na siya sa tres? Was it one of those, teka lang, mag muna, pero sige. Well, he was, he was practicing it in, the, okay. in practice. He, was, he was taking all the shots. He, sabi nga niya, nung, totoo lang, kinukulit ko yan. Eh. Okay. Kasi, hindi siya nagpa-practice ng shooting. Okay. Sabi ko, how can you, you penetrate if they know already that you are a penetrator rather uh -huh. than a jump shooter? Uh -huh. So, kailangan mo i-improve yung shooting, shooting mo. Uh -huh. So, na-realize na, na nung no, natalo kami sa LPU, uh -huh. tama, siguro yung ginagawa ni Coach. So, uh -huh. he practice every day. And he's doing that in practice. He's making a shot. Uh -huh. So, pagdating sa end game, discarte na ng players ko yan. Binibigay ko na sa kanila. Basta ang sabi ko sa kanila is, isipin nyo lang yung sistema natin. Okay. Kung talagang timing na, isip nyo talagang isushoot mo, isushoot mo. Pero you have to face that consequences Correct. naman at the end of the, the day. Kung it's a bad shot, it's a bad shot. If it's a good shot. But if a bad shot that makes a basket, then it's a good it's shot. It's a good shot. <laughs> talaga. Coach, this is the first time in, in a long time na ang San Beda na na ng championship na parang wala kayong dominant point guard. Nung panahon nyo, you had... Uh, Baser. Baser. And then yes. there was a Borgia Hamida days as well. This year, Robert's more of a combo guard, yes. you say, no? Uh, ano, ano kaya ito? Is it more of the way the game has changed na marami na talagang sistema na medyo positionless basketball? Everybody should be able to do all the skills on the court? Or... It just so happened that you had a very special talent in Robert na kaya niya maging leader at kaya niya rin niya maging point guard itong later stage ng season. Well, actually, my, my, I have point guards in my team. Mm -hmm. I have uh, Jose Presbetero and then Raj Tonko. Right. Kasi no, but 
depending on the the lineup nung mm. kabilang teams nagma-match up din ako eh right. kasi I know other teams are really quick like mm -hmm. uh, Salado is very quick at Arellano. Mm -hmm. Then uh, you have the bata on the other side sa uh, Letran. So talaga nagma-match up. And you know that uh, Robert Bolick is one of my defensive player. Right. So kung minsan pagdating sa stops, naisip ko ah, kailangan ko may defensive team ako. So mm -hmm. And you know that um, the other, like Franz Abuda, are all defensive players. Mm -hmm. So, siyempre, nag-mix up din ako ng rotation. But, mm -hmm. ah, tama po kayo doon. Si Robert is a two-guard. Mm -hmm. But, uh, when we played in the D-League, he, he played together with Pamboy. So, mm -hmm. I think he learns a lot on Pamboy. Yeah, kaya medyo siguro yung mentality ni Pamboy na being a point guard, din nakuha ni, mm -hmm. ni Robert. And at least, uh, if our... Uh, Jose and uh, Raj is not playing, at least mayroon akong extra point guard na I think it's more dominant in, in slashing and really creating um, scores for his teammates. We'll talk a bit, Coach, about this special journey of Robert. Bibira ang player na ganyan na, uh, you know, he was excited to be part of a big program sa Lasal. He didn't get his breaks, dumipat sa NCA, and then not only found a home, but getting the success he's had, no? Ka anong klaseng journey din ano ng batang to? At gano'ng kasusi din yung, yung, yung mentorship ninyo sa kanya and to getting him to this level of his game right Well, unang-una, nakita ko na si Robert when he, I, I, I played against him with Lasala. I was still coaching San Beda before. Mm -hmm. right. Ang mentalit, ang nakikita ko lang talaga kay Robert is a very good defensive player. Mm -hmm. So, ang, yeah, ang, ang rule ko nga dati kay Robert is just give him space, let him shoot down. Shot. <laughs> yes. Uh, alam nyo na yan. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, pero nung, nung nalaman ko lumipat sa St. Meda, that's what the time I was still coaching NLEX. Right. Uh -oh. I even told Coach Ford Araw na, you got a special guy with mm -hmm. Robert. So, sabi ko, alagaan nyo yan. Mm -hmm. And I was happy that he was given a chance by, by Coach Jamaik. Right. And he blows him with under coach na Mike right. na as a defensive player. He mm -hmm. made stops uh, sa Lado and uh, halalo in the championship. Correct. Pero nung pagdating ko dito, ang unang tanong ko talaga kay Coach Jude, is Robert staying? <laughs> okay. Or is the Von Spot staying? Oh, Kasi, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I need them. Oh, draft sila, yeah. So, sabi ni Coach Jude, yeah, they're, they're staying. Okay. So, so sabi ko, oh, wala na akong problem. I have a defensive player. Yes. All I have to develop against Robert is his decision making. Correct and giving a chance to give him a chance to play. Correct. Kasi magaling eh, mauta. So let him lose a yeah, little bit more. A little bit. But, but yeah, syempre, may renda ng konti. Correct, correct, correct. So, ayan, nung nagdalo kami sa D-League, hindi pa talaga siya starter. He's mm -hmm. just coming off the bench. He's mm -hmm. replacing Davon because yeah. Davon is our number two guard at that time. Right. So pagdating sa mga defensive uh, matchups, mm -hmm. doon ko siya pinapasok. But eventually, when... Medyo may tempo na medyo hindi maganda yung rotation ko sa point. I tried him to the point guard rotation. So nakita ko, oy may, may kwan ako. May secret weapon ako ngayon. Na so, two-way player. Na two-way player na si Robert. Well, so, ayun. Well, speaking of that, uh, anong maasahan ng San Beda fans next year? For sure, every year, they're always hungry for a title. 12 years came straight to finals. Isa lang, di ba? Ang, ang mawawala sa yeah, Davon lang? Yeah, Davon okay. lang. Well, um, alam naman natin na every year, they year in year out mm -hmm. uh, San Beda we always look for a championship una kong guesting rito wala akong sinabi kundi I'm, I want to defend the crown that mm -hmm. coach Jamaic had yep. tinex ko nga si coach Jamaic sabi ko coach at least na defend ko yung crown mo <laughs> but uh, again yun talaga yung goal ng San Beda is yep. to make it to the finals mm -hmm. and hopefully win a championship uh, muntik na nga akong masilat doon dahil kasi di ba 12 years na kaming dire-diretso sa finals muntik pa kaming ma Correct. but again uh, history na yan so we won a championship so the end year in year out talagang gusto ng San Beda win a championship Davon well he played his last game yesterday mm -hmm. and sa amin naman meron naman talagang nakaplano lahat mm -hmm. uh, alam naman natin na meron kaming gustong kunin sa sa aming team sa Cubs. Okay. Pero syempre, uh, we have also players in our team B na is capable of uh, stepping up in the position of the bond. But for us again, alam naman ng players ko to na year in, year out then whatever happens, we start 0-0. They have to earn their spots. Yeah, they have to earn their spots again. And especially, they have to pass their subjects. Yun, sa point. Yun lang yung bottom line. Student first. Yes. 
Coach, uh, enjoy it. Uh, enjoy the rest. Uh, Thank you very much. I know the stress has been yes. uh, kakaiba the last two weeks, but congratulations. Thank you. Uh, and would you say the sweetest championship so far? Well, this is one sweetest mm -hmm. uh, championship. A, a different um, emotions uh, on all the championships, mm -hmm. but this time, siguro medyo masarap ng kote because I'm coming back from two years off ako sa okay. one, then it was really a, 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 a bad experience or a, I was really down last mm -hmm. year, but it was really boss MVP who lifted me out. So to boss, thank you. Yeah. At least binigyan ako ng pagkakato mag-coach again yep. and Coach Chot for the advices and especially Coach Jude. He, he was really there for me. So a, a, a team and a personal victory as well. So yes. congrats thank Coach. We're much. so happy to see you succeed yes. again and thank good you. luck next year. Thank you very salam, much. Salam. Salam. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Hi guys, keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates and don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.